Hi boys and girls, hope everybody's keeping safe and well. We've got year one here with us today. Everybody say hi year one. Hi. Excellent. Uh, we're going to do some balance work today. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the lesson. All you need is a piece of equipment that you can balance on your head. If you've got a cone at home, that'd be absolutely perfect. The children uh, behind the camera that you can't see all have cones. Okay, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to work with you. Through the lesson, we're going to have lots of different challenges. We're going to have lots of fun. If you've got a cone at home, it's brilliant. If you haven't tried to find a piece of equipment you can balance. To begin, all we're going to do, we're going to pop the cone on our head. Boys and girls, you can pop the cones on your head. Find the space in the area. If you've got a little bit of space at home, please use the space at home. Okay, everybody stand up. Pop the cone on your head. All we're going to do to start is move around the area, keeping our head up. Don't bump into any of your friends. Okay, ready to go? Excellent. Off we go, guys. Hope you guys at home are all balancing something. Mr. Whitton's cones fell off his head. All we're going to do, pick it back up, pop it back on, and move it around again. Mr. Whitton, I'm not talking mine. Brilliant balancing. Well done, guys. Oh, Mr. Whitton fell off again. Pop it back on. Okay, stop there. Everybody, fantastic. Well done, guys. If you've got a cone or whatever you're balancing at home, just pop it off your head, hold it in your hand. Okay? Fantastic. Don't want any cones falling while Mr. Whittam's talking. Now, we're going to change our game slightly. Okay? We've had some children with the cones falling off their head. I'm guessing that maybe whatever equipment you're using at home, the equipment's falling off our head. Uh, if it is, here's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on keeping our head still and moving our body parts slowly, okay? We're gonna have three different gears. We're gonna have a gear one, a gear two, and a gear three. Who can tell me what can help us stay balanced? Freddie? I'm not turning your head. Oh, not turning your head, okay? So keeping your head focused, keeping it still, keeping it on one thing ahead of you. Brilliant, but also being aware of equipment uh, around your living room or around the space that you're working in, okay? We have cones set out here in school, okay? So we're gonna to try to avoid the cones as well as balancing the objects on our head, okay? So you boys and girls need to be aware of the cones on the floor. If you've got any equipment at home that you can pop on the floor and just move, maneuver around, that'd be brilliant, okay? Test yourselves, but make sure you're keeping your head still, okay? Everybody here in school, pop the cone back on your head. Everybody at home, pop the equipment back on your head. Okay, keeping your head still, we're going to have three different gears. We're going to have gear one, which is going to be a slow motion. Just like this. We're going to have gear two, which is going to be up. We're going to have gear three, which is going to be a very speedy walk. Okay. Everybody give that a go. We'll begin with gear one. Slow. Keeping your head still, keeping it up, being aware of what's around you. Lots of cones on the floor, and I hope there's lots of equipment on the floor that you guys are maneuvering around. Gear one. Good, well done guys, still slow motion. Gear two. So it's a walk, but not too fast. Use all the space around you. Gear three. Gear one. Oh, Mr. Whitson fell off. Thank you, Ben. Gear two. Walking. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Well done, boys and girls at home. 
I know it's hardly falling off your head because you're keeping your head still. Be careful with your body movements. Get three. Who can show me that speed? Who can show me that speed? Get one. Well done. Super slow motion. Get three. Oh. And freeze. Hold it there. Superb. Hold the code in your hand. Hold the equipment at home in your hand. Brilliant. Now, we're going to move on to um, a different part of our session now, okay? I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult. I'm going to challenge you guys. The equipment that you've got at home, you're going to still pop it on your head. The equipment we've got in school, still going to pop it on our head. The equipment that you set out around your room to manoeuvre, we're now going to try to collect. Now, Mr. Whitton's going to do an example. So, come goes on my head, okay, I'm going to stay focused, I'm going to keep my head still as, as best I can, I'm going to move around the area. Any equipment on my floor, I'm going to try and collect, but it is important that we keep our body upright, we keep our head upright, down slowly, if the cone falls off your head, you don't get to collect that piece of equipment, okay? So Mr. Whitton was successful with his first attempt. Mr. Whitton tries to get this one. And it falls off, Mr. Whitton can't collect this cone. I've got to pop it back on my head and I've got to attempt another. Moving around the area. Oh, Mr. Whitton spotted another piece of equipment. Fantastic. And he's collected it so I can keep that one. Move over again. Oh, it fell off. Okay, so I can't collect any more. Set out some equipment at home, set it out in a good space, maneuver around the area slowly carefully keeping your head still staying focused staying on your feet i don't want you to go down onto your knees like this okay or on your bottom i want you to stay on your feet stay upright collect the equipment and get yourself back up in the upright position okay does everybody here understand yeah. everybody at home understand yeah. brilliant okay i'll be ready pop the cone on your head off we go moving around the area Collecting all the cones in front of you guys. Excellent, good girl. Okay, because it fell off, you don't get to collect it. Yusuf, brilliant. Well done, superb. Okay, Mr. Whitten's gonna give it a go. Well done you, in that area, fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, stop there. Oh, Mr. Whitson fell. Okay, stop there. Well done. Every find a space in the area, go and sit yourselves down. You guys at home, have yourselves a rest. Excellent. I hope that you collected all the, the equipment around your room. I hope I give you enough time. If not, pause the video, complete the collection of your items. Okay? Well done to you guys. Okay, really, really quickly, let's go through how many we have collected. Okay? If you managed over two items, put your hand up. So if you've managed two collections or more, hand up. Well done, that's everybody here, superb effort. If you manage four or more items, put your hand up. Brilliant, well done, so still over half. Six or more. We've got a champion there with seven. Did anybody at home beat seven? Okay, we'll have to see, you'll have to let us know or let your teacher know. Okay, superb. Now, we're going to change the game ever so slightly, make it a little bit more difficult. If you have a cone in your hand in the area, can you go and spread it out in the area, okay? So, pop it down in a space. If you're at home, get your equipment, pop it down in a space again so that we can go with round two with a little bit more difficulty. Please use the area over there. Yes, Yusuf? Don't worry about it. That's fantastic. Well done. This time, how many are you going to get, Yusuf? More than one? That's what I like to hear. 
Pop it down in space, in space. Superb. So you should have your original cone. You guys at home should have your original equipment. Okay? Pop it down, pop it down. Superb. We're all ready? Excellent. This time, I'm going to change the game slightly. How could we make it more difficult with the equipment that we've got? Any ideas? Yes. Pardon? So we're still going to put it on our head, but what could we do? What could we do differently with the cone on our head? Put some more equipment around. We've got lots of equipment. What could we do with the cone? We've got them on our heads. What could we do with our cone? Give you a little clue. Turn it upside down. So the equipment you guys have got at home, if it's really easy for you, try to find something a little bit more difficult, okay? A cup might be too difficult, okay? But if you pop it the opposite way, that could be perfect for you guys at home. Or you might have a better idea that you can use. Us in school, we are going to turn the cone upside down now. So instead of the big surface area, we're gonna use the small surface area, okay? So everybody find a space. Without collecting any cones, we'll go 10 to 30 seconds, 10 20 seconds, just of a practice of having the cone. The Without opposite. collecting any cones, we'll go 10 to 30 seconds, 10 20 seconds, just of a practice of having the cone the opposite way. See how you feel. So, no collecting of cones, just have a wonder round with it the opposite way around. And Mr. Whitson will give it a go also. Okay? Off you go, guys, at home. Well done. <laughs> Falls off, don't worry about it, just go and collect it. Use all the space in the area, guys. Use all the space at home you can. Be very careful. Oh, it's just fell off again. Much more difficult this way. Keep your head still, keep upright, stay focused. Smooth movements. Oh. Okay, I think we're ready to give it a go. We've got lots of cones in the area. I hope you guys have got lots of things spread out at home in and around your area. Okay, so cone on your head, get yourselves ready. Okay, three, two, one, off we go. Super careful. Let's see what equipment Mr. Whitting can collect. Can you use, collect that equipment, please, in the area? The ones in the space, superb. Oh, oh yes. Oh, felt one there. Oh, there we go. Two pieces of equipment. Oh, fell off my head. Just pop it back on, get myself set up. Well done, boys and girls. Super work. Staying upright, staying focused, collecting, move on. Super work, boys and girls, make sure they're all collected. Fantastic, okay. Cut the cone off your head. Brilliant, pop in your hand, add it to your collection. You guys at home, take whatever equipment you're balancing on your head, take it off and pick up the pieces that you have left on your floor, okay? Now, let's see boys and girls, how many have we collected? If you've collected more than two, pop your hand up, superb, I know you guys at home have collected more than two, that's fantastic. If you've collected more than four, hand up. Well done, lots of hands up. And this is much more difficult as well. If you've managed more than six pieces of equipment, pop your hand in the air. Super, how many of you managed? Have a quick count of them cones. You've got lots in front of you, super balancing. And I hope you guys at home have got lots and lots of successful equipment collected. you've collected. Has anybody at home collected more than 10 cones? I'll be looking forward to seeing your results guys, okay? 
Thank you very much. I hope you've all enjoyed that little exercise. Boys and girls here, give yourselves a big round of applause. Boys and girls at home, give yourselves a big round of applause. Great work, guys. I hope to see you soon. Take care.